Okay, in this video we will be covering 3.9, which is differentials. And so then we've got to go back to get the basis of everything. So remember this equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is the equation of a line. Now, when your m is f prime of x1, right, and x1 is equal to a c value, then what you have is you have that this y1 is f of c, the m is f prime of c, and then the x1 is c. So in the parentheses, you have x minus c. And this is the equation of the tangent line at x1 equal to c. Because remember, using the derivative to find the, the slope. That means that's the tangent line. Now if I move the f plus c over to the other side by adding it on both sides of that equation, you end up with this equation here. This equation is called the linear approximation or the tangent line approximation. And it can be used to estimate y values corresponding to x values close to that c, okay? In other words, it can be used to find the limit as x approaches c of the function, okay? So this is another way of writing. Instead of saying y equals, they just say t of x. Kind of like f of x, but it's t of x because it's representing the tangent line. And so another way to do this is if you have a curve here and it has a point C and it has another point some distance away from C, say that del distance is delta X, okay? Then this new X value would be C plus that measurement delta X. The Y value associated with this X value would be F of C and the Y value associated with that new X value would be F of C plus delta X. The change in these y values or the difference in these y values is called the differential or the delta y. So you've got this measurement here which is the difference of those two. Okay. So the definition of differentials is that for y equal to f of x, the differential of x dx is any non-zero number. The differential of y dy is actually given by f prime of x times the differential dx. And differentials can be used to approximate function values, y values. To do this for y equals f of x, you use the formula, the function of x plus delta x is approximately equal to f of x plus the differential y, the difference in the y values which is equal to f of x plus f prime of x dx. So this is just going over all the different pieces of it, but we are going to be trying some examples in just in the next video.